Hi everybody watching. Um, my name is Phoenix. I have to talk a little bit quietly because there's some people sleeping and it's a little bit late. But um, there's something I've been wanting to get off my chest and, and share with you all. Um, you know, whether it ends up causing a lot of you just to poke fun at me or ridicule my method or peg me insane or whatever. I don't really mind. That's fine. Um, I mean, I do mind, because if you do that, it reflects that, you know, if you judge me, it reflects you're in the kind of place where you judge. Um, so that doesn't reflect well on, on you and where you're at in your evolution and your development. And naturally, I mind that, because um, I wish you all the best, and I hope that everybody is um, making a good effort to progress within themselves uh, more than anything else. You know, outside progression's fine, but there's got to be a balance, and if you had to choose one over the other, inward progression is so much more valuable and important, more than any of us could possibly know. Um, but I think I'm starting to grasp uh, an idea of how important that is to work on all this inward progression. And um, I've been finding, for whatever reason, whether it's about some new alignment or a dawning of a new era, I don't know. But me, personally, I find that my, my vision, my mind, my paradigms of viewing the world um, have become abundantly clearer than they have ever been before. And for that reason, a lot of people, when I speak my truth, it doesn't have to be your truth, but when I speak my truth, you might think it's crazy, hysterical, nuts, bananas, whatever word you want to use. And like I say, I feel that I see more clearly now than I ever have. And no wonder it might come across as crazy because truth is stranger than fiction and people we all know deep down inside by some measure to some degree we all understand that we're not being told everything by those that hold the biggest mouthpieces and microphones indoctrinating us putting all this false information into our heads I'm not saying that everything the powers that be or the government has ever told us is a lie but I'm saying you have to be pretty ignorant or be suffering a pretty deep state of Stockholm Syndrome and love and appreciation for the captors for all the goodies they give you if you believe that they are being 100% honest and if you believe that when they say they're just for the people by the people and they're just really caring about your interests above everything else, if you can somehow believe that, then that's fine. That's cool. But I hope you wouldn't. Because it would mean it would take a lot of work um, to open up those peepers to remove the blinders. And if you don't get that business, comes first. If you don't get that profits, come first. If you don't get that reaching the quota and meeting the quota matters more than anything and that it doesn't matter about people or any other life form or our environment or anything if anything else suffers um, during that course of attaining the objective well that's just collateral damage and if you don't understand that there's a lot of work I would urge you to begin undertaking in removing the wool from your eyes because this isn't a place with a government that's by and for the people we are now as we always were slaves and I don't mean that in a melodramatic fuck the system anarchistic sense I mean this all came from slavery and all they've done is instead of having to put us on chains shackle us and whip us and force us to work 
They've trained us to walk ourselves every day into the cage, run on the wheel, feed ourselves, shelter ourselves, clothe ourselves, clean ourselves. They've trained us to view our cage as a shelter. Why? Because we're afraid. And they're responsible for that too. And they make pretty damn sure that you stay afraid, in need of shelter, in need of protection from all of these monsters and all of these terrorists and all of these problems that keep flashing through your retinas on the screen every day. Because you've just got to know every time a baby gets stabbed and it's caught, you just got to know every time there's a, a gun shooting at school or a massacre, you just got to know every time something sick and sinister and horrific is happening. Because then you'll run into your cage, not viewing it as a prison, not viewing it as something which is limiting you and your potential and your capacity to become yourself to your fullest, to live your life to your fullest, but you'll view it as a refuge, sanctuary. Hey, maybe you can chuck up some ornaments in that little space and even call it a home. Your slice of paradise. A dream. But wherever you are, however you see the world, this thing that we are inside, and which in truth there is no escaping, however you view the subject of slavery, or at least modern day free range slavery that's beside the point utterly beside the point the purpose of this video is like I said I have to get something off my chest and I feel that I've been waking up starting from a couple of years ago I, I for those that don't know I've been researching since I was 15 years old 14, 15, I'm now now 30 but even before I was 14, 15 and began looking on the internet for answers, I was always very inquisitive always wanted to know how everything works what is the stuff of life and why and what's the end game what's the reason for all of this and every now and then you know, sometimes in life I've been sidetracked and I haven't been researching and I haven't been on that path of you know, seeking truth on that quest and every now and then, you know, some series of events or something, an urge within me would draw me to like a random video um, that doesn't even have a title that's obviously about the thing that I end up finding out it's about when I click on it. I don't even know why I click on it. I've already seen the movie. I just see it written on YouTube, The Fifth Wave. Click on that. It ends up being a documentary talking about a lot of stuff. Um, that was most relevant, and then after I found that, I started noticing, okay, there's a lot of stuff happening around the world, um, a lot of really bizarre events, um, a lot of unexplainable and hence unanswered, even on the news reports, and um, those representatives, official representatives, various stations, just dumbfounded, no clue um, about a lot of the strange phenomena that's been occurring. And there's a lot, um, there's a lot going on around the world now. And people say, oh, yeah, well, you know, that's just, we have more exposure now to, to the news because of the internet. So it seems like there's more stuff happening. But no, um, the statistics actually, the statistics for sinkholes, um, swallowing cities, the statistics for the um, acceleration of earthquakes and um, increase in, um, you know, the, the Richter scale, the severity of them. Um, there's a lot of new developments in terms of weather acting very anomalous and strange and um, in, in unprecedented ways, in ways that people can't relate to even before there was internet. Nobody's saying, oh no, this is normal, I've seen this. No one could put a definition on why all this stuff's happening. No one can explain it. A lot of it. Um, I'm not going to go into all of it. There's a lot. There's a lot of strange stuff. And, um, you know, the funny thing is I never was a religious person. I never considered myself a religious 
man, I, I followed that bandwagon. I jumped on board with the whole shamming religion and sticking my finger up to Jesus and all that stuff. You know, I used to be gothic. I used to think it was cool. You know, I never said I was atheist because you know I was logical enough to know that you can't you can't know that God doesn't exist. You know what I mean? Unless you're God. Um, but I was always, always agnostic, and I just didn't know. And even now, strictly speaking, because I'm still a logical person, really, um, I probably would still be agnostic in the sense that you never truly know. But now, compared to then, the difference is that more than ever, I do believe, and it really is so strong within my heart, within my intuition, within all of the coincidences and all the messages that have found me and all the information that has come to me at the right time in the right order that I do believe that there is something more to the surface appearances of the world there is something more to what people think constitutes their basic reality there's something underlining it, there's something around it, and something expressing itself through it. And lately I've been feeling kind of like Westworld with the whole revelries thing. I've been having revelations, and that's what I wanted to talk about tonight, because I do see a lot of strange things happening. And the Bible has been twisted upside down, and it has people worshipping um, the wrong things underneath different names they've switched it all around but there's still truth in there there's still bits of information a lot of the time you have to reverse it to get an idea but, um, but you'll find that there's a lot of parallels to stories in the Bible and movies um, produced in Hollywood and all over and TV shows even music stories that are told you'll notice the same themes coming up over and over and over again and me, I've always been big on pattern recognition, and I, I, I'm atrocious at knowing, you know, what's in front of me, in front of my eyes. You know, I'll miss the obvious, but I see the abstract, the principles underlining things. I see patterns. I see the math underlining shit. Always have had a knack for that. You know, I miss the obvious, but I'll see the profound, and and, and have been able to predict even human behavior to a T. <laughs> just by doing that so I have faith in, in at least my ability to identify when there are reoccurring themes principles that keeping evoked and you know people think oh what are, you, what are you talking about the bible and movies and songs and they're all saying the same story what do you think all these people are conferring together and whispering in each other's ear and, and deliberately you know fabricating or cr telling these same stories like is it a big conspiracy um, no, I'm not saying that, and I think that my idea of the truth behind that, why that happens, is actually as bizarre and as far-fetched as it might sound to some people who are used to to seeing the world the way that they've been conditioned to see the world for the most part. It, as bizarre as it will sound, I think my truth just makes more sense and it explains a lot of the synchronicities and it explains the coincidences it explains why there are reoccurring themes it explains why people will even be talking about the same things why they'll be experiencing the same things themically similar situations around the same times it even explains the hundredth monkey effect and how uh, information that is consolidated in one area of the globe is then accessible by other beings in other parts of the globe without there being any communication between them. It's as if as soon as someone learns to do something a certain way here and they really consolidate that knowledge, suddenly it just becomes like common sense and everyone else, however separate they seem, kind of like a hive mind, begin subconsciously accessing that same information and acting on that on that same premise it's always evolving and that's what the next video is going to go into it's going to go into what i got to go off my chest um, that explains the synchronicities that explains what's happening in the world at least it's 
the best theory I've got going at the moment, but it's still just a theory. So um, I'll see you there.